this is Bonnie and this is part two of um, the Halloween pocket inserts and beginning to embellish them. Um, I wanted to show you what I used for my ninth pocket because um, Sherry Baldi's um, set that I'm using, um, which is from mybestiesshop.com, um, comes with eight inserts and that's what fits on an eight and a half by 11 paper and so you can create your ninth one and what um, she's also done is she's got some SVGs that will coordinate with this pocket letter um, Halloween pocket letter inserts or you can just use them on your cards or any place else you want to but what I want to show you is this what I use what I'm using for my ninth um, insert is this little <clears throat> Um, it's kind of like a little, um, I want to say, holder bag. It looks like an old-fashioned um, bag that you would normally find. And I wanted to show you how this all came together. So this is what the SVG looks like when you cut it out. And um, basically it has flaps on the side, and you just fold it over, and you can attach these inside or outside, whichever way you want to, if you want it to have more of a finished look. Um, you can attach it that way. Then what I did was this, with this flap right here, I turned that down. Now you're gonna say, ooh, I have all this white on the inside. If you use a double-sided paper, uh, you wouldn't have to do this, but I went ahead and used Sherry Baldi's um, Halloween paper pack that she has, it's digital, that you can print off. It's so it would all coordinate together, but you don't have to, you can use any. So in order to fix this part right here, what I did is I went back into my silhouette and I used the mirror image for this particular um, bag and um, or pocket whatever you want to call it and I mirrored the image so that it's reversed so if you can see the SVG comes this way and I mirrored using the mirrored um, option I mirrored it and then I cut it out so I can do a couple of kit things I haven't really decided yet because I haven't um, played with that part but I think all I'm going to do probably is um, cut this right here the line and I'm just going to um, glue that together now the reason you have to mirror it is because this up here is not symmetrical and if you don't mirror it it won't fit on the inside of the paper because you have to have the reverse. And the other thing I might do right here is I might possibly cut that too and use that as a flap um, right here. So you'll see the when I get going with that, but I wanted you to see so far how I was constructing it and what my intentions were um, for my ninth um, insert. The other thing I wanted to show you is a couple of the other SVGs that um, were made um, for Halloween or for the pocket letter um, inserts. Um, you get a cluster of bats and you also get a single bat. Um, I actually made two different sizes. I should have showed the size that went with this. This is a smaller size. I reduced the size and so those set, that would go together if I kept them as a grouping. I am going to use these. I'm hoping to use these um, well, for decorations on top of my pocket letter, but I'm also hoping um, to punch little holes maybe in it and use them for my um, for a banner. Um, I want to say a banner like a um, banner pennant to go across. You'll see in the end what I plan to do with them. But I did cut out two different sizes. And <clears throat> the other thing that was made, I'm going to have to slide my whole mat over because these aren't glued down yet. All right, so with the magic of my filming, um, I was able to get these glued down. My filming actually stopped because I didn't have enough storage space left. So hopefully I can get through this so that I do. Um, this is the other set that is available. It is a font and it comes with a shadow. So these pieces are all um, glued on separately. Each letter is glued on separately, but it makes a fantastic um, we get all of these words in one um, set, SVG set. So let's get going and complete the pocket Halloween pocket letters. All right, so I did decide that for the inside of the um, pocket, the ninth pocket, which is my bag, I did, like I told you, I cut it out mirrored, and I did trim off the tabs on the side, and it's going to go right like this on the inside, and then I'll glue those on and then put the bag together, and that will be our ninth pocket.
insert. Okay, so I have my finished um, Halloween pocket letters. And um, I was going to go through and tell you what I did to add the embellishments to each one. For the first one up here, um, what I did was I used a little bit of Mod, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And I put a little bit of that at the bottom. And then I found some great Halloween um, glitter, Jumbo Glitter at Michael's. And I sprinkled some of that on. And then to give it a little bit more sparkle, I used my shaved ice on top of that and let that dry and then um, you already saw that I colored the um, the mummy you can also get this set completely colored um, so there's two ways to get it now from since I started I'm um, creating this um, Sherry is offering it two ways so um, the next thing you see is the bass we already talked about that and instead of it being a banner all I did was use foam tape and randomly put those on top of the um, of the um, sheet and then the other thing if you can see those are eyeballs googly eyeballs you can buy um, Halloween googly eyeballs at Michaels right now and I wrapped um, some gauze actually it's not gauze it's um, cheesecloth I uh, cut a uh, strip and just wrapped it around and tied it off this one down here if you can see that is um, a, an owl charm and what I did was I actually lifted up the sleeve and I punched two holes into this and I used some um, tool, black tool, and just tied that on. And it works really well to do something like that because it's just plastic. It punches very well. Then this one I wanted to pull out to show you. This is the pocket that we had been, I had been showing you earlier in the video. Um, I also made a little ghost. Um, Sherry Baldy um, totally um, drew this and then it was changed into an SVG to cut out. It's adorable. And you can add a little bow to the top if you want or not. And it slides right into that pocket that we had been working on. The next thing was, um, as you can see right here, is what we I colored up. And um, again, you can get this um, as a second sheet. Um, I just added some um, gems to that. And then down here I added some, this is not a, this isn't gems, but it's sort of like gems, it's a trim. And you can add trim or gems or whatever you want to to the side. This right here is, it's really hard to show up on uh, photos and, but in, to see it for real it's a little bit better, but it's a black organza and I put two um, paper uh, flowers inside. I didn't do anything to the last one, I thought it was just cute all by itself. So there you go, that is the, oh I forgot to tell you. Also on the side, I did decorate this time. I stitched this, it's kind of like a gauze ribbon all the way down and it still works fine for putting it in your book because it lifts up and um, lays right back down because it's flexible. I also put some trim that I had purchased at Michael's some time ago and added um, some flowers to the top. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun and um, don't forget, if you can, please um, comment and subscribe so you can see more videos. Um, and the other design team um, person that's on, that is creating right now is Christy, and she has some awesome tutorials and coloring and other ideas. So um, please come back. Thank you.